So yes, this is not about professional wrestling, but I'm diving into a bit more mixed martial arts stuff. How about that? Hello and welcome to FTTR, I'm Hugh McQuaid, and yes, today we are not talking about WWE, AEW, Impact, or any of those. We are talking about the UFC Ultimate Fighter Season 1, because I have binged it in its entirety. I'm sort of working my way through the Ultimate Fighter stuff. And yeah, this is just going to be my review of Season 1 from, I believe, 2004? I think it was that long ago. And I'm going to talk some about the things, some, some of the things I liked, some of the things I don't like, and if I'd recommend checking this season out, okay? Let's get into it. So for anyone who doesn't know, The Ultimate Fighter is a competition show mixed with a reality show based around mixed martial arts where a group of fighters have to live in a house together, there's the reality aspect of it, and then eventually have to fight each other for a UFC contract. And this was the first season back in the day, 2004, and it's okay. It's sort of a tryout run of what we get to know, but just to give you a bit of the background of what I've seen, I've seen this season, and I've seen the very last season. I saw the Volkanovski Ortega season, Return of the Ultimate Fighter. And watching this one back, I much prefer the format of the latter season. This was obviously just a tryout run, and I haven't seen the seasons in between. I'm going to get to those, I'll have reviews of those as well when I've finished those. But the format of this one is really strange. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So going into a bit more detail, um, Chuck Liddell, Randy Couture, they're the team captains. They have to pick from middleweights, yes, middleweights and light heavyweights. And they get four each. And then they compete in various tasks, very similar to the original days of NXT, just not with wacky stick stuff. Okay. And this is sort of where the format loses me. In the later season, in the Ultimate Fighter, Ortega, Volkanovski, they're eliminated. They've gone straight away. And it goes in a tournament style, wherein it can be two, or I believe it was, two members of Volkanovski in the final. Whereas with this, the way it works is, if a team loses a member in one of the fights, or one of the tasks, if they don't have enough members to fulfill the next task, someone from the other team swaps over to that side. And I think that really takes away from the competition element of it, because it's supposed to be coaches versus coaches. You know, it's Couture versus Chuck Liddell. But that's sort of taken away because they have to bring in new members, which is very weird from the other team. I just don't really think that works in the format of the show because you want it to be team versus team, that's the whole crux of it. As for the reality aspect of it, I think that was, you know, the most pro wrestling part of it. It's very, very dramatic, and the main sort of story throughout the show is Chris Lieben, Josh Koch, I can't say his name, Josh Koschak, I believe, hope I pronounced that right, and Bobby Southworth. It's that trio who are sort of the main focus of the episodes because they just don't get on you get the heated rivalry you get Bobby Southworth you know mouthing off you get really sort of dramatic dramatic scenes and you learn a bit more about the history of these fighters it's I don't know whether it was all done for camera I'm not sure but that's the main crux of it and I found that enjoyable in sort of like a voyeuristic way in that yeah some of these are awful awful people and it's not really held up in terms of the language, which is another thing about this season, is, oh man, it's problematic in this day and age, the use of some of the language, some of the slurs, it's just not enjoyable to watch in that regard. It's, yeah, problematic to say the least. Let's just leave it at that. But in terms of the actual sort of MMA content of it, it's really fun. You learn a lot from Randy Couture and you learn a lot from Chuck Liddell about their different styles and seeing them training, seeing them, especially in the first few episodes, sort of the cutting weight bit with Bobby Southworth, that bit's intense and it sort of puts you in this perspective of the fighters themselves. And 
yeah, I enjoyed this season, but it's very flawed. It really is flawed. I'm hoping the other seasons can turn it around because just the format, the format is the thing I have the big issue with. The fights, enjoyable, some good fights. The training, really fun. The, I'm gonna say characters, because obviously they are characters. You get a few, you get a few good characters. Chris Lehman's quite a character, like I said, Koscheck and Southworth again, and people like Forrest Griffin. They're enjoyable to watch. Some of them sort of fade into the background, but that'll happen with any sort of show. It's an enjoyable watch if you're a UFC fan. I'm assuming if you're a UFC fan, you've probably seen season one. I'm just diving back into it. But overall, I give this three out of five. I enjoyed it, but I can't not see the issues with this show, particularly season one. I'm hoping some of these issues are addressed in the next season, which I'll be starting probably today. But even still, I can't overlook some of the flaws in this show and it's very goofy it's really goofy some of the music is so early 2000s that I'm just like this is like Power Rangers levels of stuff this is like 90s Power Rangers sort of like the, just the way it's filmed and everything and like this is so weird it's so such a weird setup for a reality show but if this leads to great seasons down the line because I really really enjoyed Volkanovski Ortega the return of the ultimate fire I really love that season this season is just the groundwork, so hopefully, hopefully things will get better. So that is my review of The Ultimate Fight Season 1, Liddell vs Couture. Thank you all ever so much for your support. If you want to see more mixed martial arts content on the channel, let me know down in the comments, and I will try and reply to every single one of them. Thank you all ever so much for your support, and have a nice day.